Hey, this is Mark with All American Health. We are a non-emergency medical transportation company based out of the state of Florida. So like the title says, Uber and Lyft is the now for non-emergency medical transportation. So you gotta remember, non-emergency medical transportation doesn't just encompass wheelchair uh, services. It also encompasses sedan work as well. Um, I focus on B2B, B2C relationships, building relationships with nursing facilities, assisted living facilities, hospitals, and the majority of those places are looking for individuals to provide wheelchair and or stretcher transportation services. So the majority of the time when I'm talking to you guys, uh, it's really a focus of wheelchair relationships, wheelchair trips, stretcher trips. but. Um, I want to take this opportunity to point out that er as I've said in other videos, everything is going fixed route. And, and, and a fixed route is exactly the way it sounds. It's, it's a predetermined course that you're, you're assigned to or put on. So I'm in a trip right now I'm with a ride share company. And no matter what's going to go on on this trip, it's already been predetermined by the software that this particular driver is, is, is completing. And that's how everything in the direction, everything and everyone is going. Everything is on a fixed route. It tell you to go right, you go right. It tell you to go left, you're gonna go left. Um, it tell you to pull over and stop, it's gonna, you're gonna pull over and stop. So as a result, the need for innovation, intelligence uh a go get them attitude is slowly but surely uh leaving this industry so you have to be able to pivot if you're going to stay in a non-emergency medical transportation industry you have to be able to do the same thing some of these larger companies are doing you have to be able to copy what they're doing on a smaller scale the way you go about doing that is literally building b2b and b2c relationships how do you do that? You, you have to get your information out there in the same platforms that they're using to advertise their business. There are still great opportunities that are available to build B2B relationships, business to business relationships. There are still great opportunities through automation, through social media, to build great B2C relationships. A lot of times when you're building B2C relationships. And I actually like B2C relationships better than I like B2B relationships because it's a bit more personal. But the reason I like them is because once a person rides with your company, nine times out of 10, they're gonna repeatedly call you back to provide transportation services to them. And what happens is once they build a relationship with you and they know the style of service that you provide, and when I say you, I'm referring to your company because everyone at your company should be repeating the type of service that you're providing, whether you're the actual person in the vehicle or you're hiring someone, that person you hire should provide that service exactly the same as you do, okay? When you're repeating that service, now it goes from you actually providing a service to you're managing their transportation, okay? If you look at one of the larger uh, Medicaid brokers out there, it's called MTM, okay? What does MTM stand for? medical transportation management. They manage transportation. Logistic care, now it's, of course it's called mode of care. Literally, logistics, they handle the coordination of that service. You need to take the same model and the same mindset. You wanna grab two or three facilities, four or five facilities and start coordinating their transportation. You want to be that middleman that makes sure that service gets provided in a proper fashion. And when and if the need arises, you jump in and provide the service yourself. Okay, so now as a result, you're actually not just building relationships, you're building fixed routes inside of your community. And the way you go about doing that is like I said, once you close a deal with one facility or once you close a certain area where you're receiving uh, consistent trips from a, a company or an individual, you start working that area within a five mile to seven mile and to 10 mile radius. And your, your, your radius start overlapping one another. 
one facility can keep one person busy uh, with four trips a day. You get a 300 bed facility, you'll, you'll be busy. One hospital will, over, over, will, will flood you with clients. Uh, it, it, it will be more than what you can handle initially. You'll literally have to start bringing on people uh, to work with them. And, and those are the types of things that they're looking for. You really just need to find the pain point in your area or your community and say, I'm gonna relieve that pain by managing and coordinating their transportation services. Now, some of that management and coordination will be through your company, but you gotta start thinking outside the box. You need to start building relationships with other transportation providers in your area. Invite one or two of them out to eat. A hold a good conversation with them on, over the phone. There's a company in my area right now, I send them like three trips a day. And and watch this. I don't I don't take a percentage of what they doing from them. I ask them for a quote, I roll it over to my my my, my consumers because I'm so busy that it it actually is right now it's a waste of time for me to say, okay, well I wanna get 10, 15 percent off of what you're doing. Now, look, here's the trip. Make sure the trip get taken care of, provide them five star service, I'll keep sending you trips. And the gentleman is perfectly happy with providing services and the, and the reason he likes it is because he's charging them what he would charge a b2c client or a b2b client he's not having to go down and negotiate rates with me and all of that nonsense well all i do is connect okay so now i'm providing a service to him but i'm also making sure that the services are being provided to my consumers those are the types of, of, of ideas and mindsets you need to have. And the same thing that I'm talking about that you need to start doing is the same as that thing Uber and Lyft is doing. They're doing it right now. All they're doing is finding a pain point and they're relieving that. Okay, right now it's, shoot, it's almost 12 o'clock in my city. Rates are actually going up for services. And the reason they can raise their rate is because again, they're relieving a pain point. The trip that I'm on right now should cost me maybe $20, $22. It's costing me $35 because of the time of the evening that I'm in the vehicle riding. Okay? Rates don't go down, they go up. That's a lesson in and of itself, just by just, just alone. They go up. And what do I always preach to you guys? Find what the area is doing, go up 10%. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you need help running your Naughty Emergency Medical Transportation Company, feel free to reach out to me. We do a discovery calls, $100. One hour consultation, $250. The ebook coming soon. Hope y'all ready.